Hello, Azumi here, running Super Festival Night S2. Um, my team is going to be Mecha Fist Rin as my front tank. Light and Fire Gear is what I'm using. And second is just regular Sif with just more Light and Fire Gear. Um, Heretic Rings because they're all Aesir. Third is Magic Doctor Lumiere, set up as support and healing. And with more healing is going to be Valkyrie Erd. Love her new costume, by the way. And Poel. Which is a lot of light gear on her. Okay, so here we go. So, Super Festival Night has Sealed Kushinada, Moon God Manny, and Witch Galvig. All three of them are Aesir, and all three of them are in the Magic Row, and only Kushinada is Airborne. Kushinada's action skill is Divine Bondage, which is 140% Magic Attack Damage and Shield Sealed for three turns to the three nearest enemies. 140% Earth Magic Attacks and Silence for 3 turns to the 3 farthest enemies. And HP up 30% to all allies for 2 turns. Shield Sealed and Silence only applies to grounded enemies. Her auto skill is going to be Earth Magic Attack and Stone Chain for 3 turns to all enemies in the connect. Stone Chain applies only to humans, elves, and beasts. At S1, she has Leaf Field, and S2, she has High Leaf Field. The most effective elements against her are going to be Fire and Light. So, Fire is going to hit Kushinada and Galvig the most, and Light does the most damage to Manny. And you're going to want to get rid of Manny and Galvig pretty quick. Uh, Moon God Manny does her... Action skill is going to be 140% magic attack damage and sleep for 3 turns to the farthest enemy row. Sleep effect applies only to humans, elves, and beasts. Her auto attack skill does dark magic attack damage and barrier seal sleep for 3 turns to the nearest enemy row. Barry, barrier seal and sleep effect applies only to Aesir, humans, elves, and beasts. Which Galvig does 140% magic attack damage and Petrify for 3 turns to the nearest enemy row. Petrify effect applies only to humans, elves, and beasts. Her auto skill does dark magic attack damage to the nearest enemy and defense and magic defense 30% down for 3 turns to all allies. I mean up, not down. And at S1 she does counterattack to Kushinada and attack and magic attack 30% down to all enemies. On S2, she does 80% shield for three turns to Kushinada. So, some other heroes you could use here besides the one that I'm using are going to be Genesis Prince Ymir, <coughs> Awakened Mog, Angelic Hell if you were lucky enough to get her, um, Judging God Forseti, Awakened Verdandi, uh, Fisher Hymir, Awakened Aurora, Valkyrie Rhoda, Valkyrie Rangrid, Catalyst Vili, Lightning God Raika, which is the one that just came out, um, War God Kubita, and Valkyrie Svipple, which I actually was using for a while, but I decided to go more healer because I wasn't winning every time. Sometimes she would die. So, she's a little bit squishy in this fight. But her quick and sure shot can be of helpfulness to you. So I'm kind of just stuttering over now, killing time till the end. It's easier than some of the past fights have been, but it's not it's not easy easy. It's that shield and the counterattack that can be a problem. The 80% shield is a lot. So you're going to want to get rid of Manny and Gulvig first. Particularly Gulvig. And here we 
go. Almost got him. There we go. Now let's check out our maximum damage. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, there we go. Thank you for watching and have a good day.